YouTube friends. Well, I ended up getting a bag that I've been really interested in for a little while. It's pretty new. And this is the Coach Meadow shoulder bag. And the color I got is called Flax 2. And it's really a neat color. I like it. It looks more yellow on the screen than it is in real life. In real life, it's kind of a, I don't know, it's like a tan with some yellow, kind of a yellow ochre color, but not a bright yellow if that makes sense. So anyhow, I'll go over the specifics with you and tell you what type of bag it's most like. Now, when I saw this online, as it was kind of displayed like this, I thought, oh, that looks like the Lori. And I have a Lori and I love it. So that was the reason that I really wanted to buy this. And <clears throat> I have bad spatial reasoning. <laughs> I don't do puzzles. So for me, the shape of it was like the Lori, but it's not. And the size of it is not either. So I was kind of pleasantly surprised because this is a lot more like a tote to me than uh, a shoulder bag as it's marketed. <clears throat> and the shape is a lot more like the Coach Day tote. So it's almost the same type of shape with the cut down here and then the sides that extend down like this. Now I'll show you the difference in size between this and my Lori because it's pretty significant. And I think of my Lori shoulder bag as a big bag, but here's the Lori and see it does not have sides that curve down, but I guess the swoop here and the adjustable straps are similar. Let's see if we can, I'll give you the measurements too. But see the difference in size? I mean, there's <laughs> there's a huge difference in size between the Lori and the um, Meadow. So let me go ahead and give you the dimensions of each as well as the um, day tote. Because I don't have one of those, but the shape is really similar. And this is not called a tote. It's called a shoulder bag. So <clears throat> the Co Coach Lori is two and a quarter wide and the coach meadow is listed as 13 inches wide but it kind of flares out a little bit on the side so let me see if that's correct usually i double check it myself because i don't trust their yeah see this <laughs> when it's folded out it is 18 inches wide that is not the same as on their website. They say 13 inches wide. Let me see what they're looking at here. Maybe the very base. The very base is 12. I don't know what they're talking about with 13 inches wide. And I definitely ordered the uh, shoulder bag, not a tote, it's the meadow. But, you know, even when this is full and standing up, it is pretty much out this far. Let me just double check that. Zero, uh, 17 and a half when it's filled. So that's very different than 13 inches wide. So that's something to keep note of, that the website is apparently wrong. So if you're expecting a smaller shoulder bag like the Lori, you're getting quite a bit more. So the Lori in height, the website says it's 10 and a fourth. Let's see what that is. It's eight at the shortest part and it's about 10 and a fourth on the sides where it curves up. The meadow is nine and three quarters high. It's about nine and a half at the part where it dips down. If you're measuring the same as the Lori, at the highest part, it's 11. So you've got now, <laughs> what was it, 17 inches by 11? And on the side it says 13 inches by nine and three quarters. So very big difference. <laughs> and the depth of both is supposed to be the same. The Lori is supposed to be six inches. <clears throat> and that's it. And the meadow is probably the same because it does have really wide sides that fold out. This one was not stuffed when it was sent to me. It was kind of folded, so it wants to fold again since it's empty. But let me see. <clears throat> it looks six. Let me just make sure. 
Yes, exactly six. And then the um, the day tote, which is marketed as a tote, is just 11.5 wide, and this is 17 <laughs> by 12 and three quarters high by five and one fourth. So that's actually the smallest bag, really, other than height wise. <clears throat> it's crazy. I don't know how they name these things. So as far as price goes, the Coach Meadow has the inflated outlet prices. The other two are retail bags. So you know how Coach plays fast and loose with their retail price. <laughs> the retail price on the Coach Meadow is $478. And that's what they have on the tag here. My notes. So yeah, $478 and looks like $580 for Canadian dollars. Let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go, 478. <clears throat> and then the price as it is now on the website, or as far as when I checked this the other day, it was $191. I got this at a great sale. It was only like 137. So that's why I jumped on it. The Coach Lori, the retail price is 450, but now you can find them for 270. And the Coach Dato is just listed at 295 no difference in price no sale so this is supposedly more value than any of them lori comes second the day tote comes third and they're all beautiful bags so <clears throat> i don't know about that but let's get back to the differences so you do have they both have adjustable straps but the lori only has three holes and the coach meadow has one, two, three, four, five, which I really like. It's very comfortable on. You know, it's a big bag, but it's not super heavy. But the first thing I noticed when I took it out of the box is the quality of the leather is much better than my other pebbled leather outlet bags. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got some striations in there, like, you know, real leather has, um, instead of just the pressed uniform pebbling. And this might still be pressed, but at least they're doing a better job at it. And see, up here on the collar, it has even larger pebbling. And it's very soft and flexible. It's not stiff like the normal Coach Outlet leathers. So either they've gotten better at printing <laughs> the texture on, or it's just really good quality pebbled leather, I think, in my opinion. So you do have the branding the logo down here like all the coach outlet pieces pretty much have this has no feet on the bottom <clears throat> the lori you don't have any branding on it as far as the coach name you've got the hang tag and the little c here but no other branding that i can see and you do have four feet and it's a similar pebbled leather similar grain but this is the refined polished one so it's nicer and it's softer this one, you do have a hang tag, and it's on a cute little loop here, so you can put a bag charm on if you want to. So now, this is where they get very different. The meadow is just a big open area, and to me, I would definitely call this a tote. I would not say this is a shoulder bag. It's big. I mean, granted, you can carry it around like one if you want to, but. So you've just got one area here. I have this one stuffed but in the lore you have three. You've got two outside pockets, let me back up, two outside pockets with the magnetic closure and a zip pocket in the center. So it's a very different layout. I think really the only similarity is the size of the pebbling and the fact that you have adjustable straps. Other than that, they are not alike really at all. So I'm kind of glad for that because it gave me an excuse to get another bag. <laughs> I didn't have one like this one. And you've got nice fabric interior, nice twill, and big, like a cell phone pocket here. And then you've just got a zipped pocket at the back. The zipped pocket is very big. I've got the little information card there. And it does also have a zippered pocket on the back, just like the Lori has. Similar type of pocket. So there's that. And the space is really good. You could definitely put your phone in there and some keys. 
So that's a nice size. It comes in many colors. It also comes in the signature canvas. And it's just a really good size work bag tote. I like it. The bottom is firm, even though it doesn't have feet. It is um, a nice firmness. Now let me see if my MacBook Pro will fit. Because then my work computer will also fit. It's always my question. So I'm going to back up a little bit. So here's my MacBook Pro. Look at this. Easily fits in there. And then you can very easily <laughs> zip it up. The quality of the zipper on this is great too. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a huge zipper pull. It kind of reminds me of like on a Rogue. It's very nice quality. I was really surprised and it's smooth. So to me, this bag is really an upgrade on most of the outlet bags. And that's why I was kind of confused. I kept looking at it thinking, is this really an outlet bag? Because it really feels like retail. And that impressed me because I have kind of gone off getting outlet bags. I just haven't been happy with the coach quality of most of their uh, leather outlet bags, made for outlet bags. So this will definitely fit a computer and pretty much anything else you need to bring. But I really wanted to review it for you guys to show you why I was so impressed and to give you the correct measurements because I just cannot believe how off the site is. When I pulled it out, I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, it's just enormous. And at the largest point, I want you to see this, it is 18 inches <clears throat> at the widest point at the top. And then it narrows down as it goes. But I don't know what they were measuring with the 13 inches. Maybe this part here, but this kind of is more like 12. And it doesn't really have a defined edge kind of wraps around so but I am very happy with this uh, I highly recommend the coach meadow I think it's great there aren't a lot of reviews out on YouTube yet of this bag and it's just really an attractive bag but definitely keep in mind you're really buying a tote in my opinion it's not just a shoulder bag because if you go by the measurements on the website and you think you're getting this size you're gonna be super surprised that it's so much bigger so, well, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.